Today, we're taking a look at our first prestige class for D20 Modern. That's right, we're taking a look at our first prestige class for D20 Modern. This one's out of the Urban Arcana Splat book for that game, and it's, a, it's another class that just really doesn't work. A prestige class is something that requires that you not only have the base class, but the required uh, advanced class from previously before to get into it. Now, that can be a little bit flexible depending on what classes are available to you, but overall, the fastest way into this one is if you go smart hero and then mage and then dive right on into it. But you would never really need to. This prestige class offers you very, very little. And the class abilities are basically all the same and they're all entirely redundant and kind of broken to begin with. So to show you exactly why, we're going to go ahead and dig into this. To begin with, for the artificer, in order to even qualify to get into it, you need to have your spellcraft skill up to nine ranks, knowledge arcane lore up to nine ranks, and nine ranks in any one crafting skill. You also have to be able to cast second level arcane spells. You get a d6 for hit dice going into this, and also you get an astounding 7 plus 1 half character level rounded down in action points. It's the first step up from the six that we've ever seen. And for skill points, you get 7 plus your intelligence modifier. Pretty generous, but you need it considering that your class skills are things like computer use, concentration, craft. You get chemical, electronic, mechanical, pharmaceutical, and structural. Decipher script, disable device, drive, forgery, knowledge of arcane lore, art, business, current events, earth and life sciences, history, physical sciences, popular culture, uh, technology, theology, and philosophy. You also get Profession, Read Write Language, Repair, Research, Search, and Speak Language. For your base attack bonus, you start off at a 0, you bump up to a 1, a 1, then a 2, then you end at a 2. For your Fortitude saves, you start off at 1, and once you hit 5th level in, the, in this Prestige class, you get a nice plus 3. Actually, not bad for a Spellcaster to have. Reflex saves, which are definitely more important than your fortitude saves for D20 Modern. You start off at a 0 and you end at a 1 after 5 levels. For your will saves, you get a nice generous 2 and you end at a plus 4 once you hit the level cap. Your defense bonus actually has an alright progression here. You start off with a plus 1 and by the time you hit your 5th level, you get a plus 3 out of it. And your reputation bonus, you start off with a plus 2 and also end at another plus 3. All the way around, not bad. It's kind of what you'd expect for a spellcaster all the way around. The nice thing here, though, is that you actually do get a little bit of a boost to your fortitude save. Which, you know, kind of makes sense. You're an artificer, you're at your workbench constantly, and depending on what you're working with, with the uh, different chemicals, medicines, and the like that you could possibly be putting together and concocting for various poultices and potions and the like, I could see a fortitude save being useful there. But, as I'm fond of saying, it's the class abilities that make or break any advanced class, and it's no different for a prestige class as well. At first level, for the Artificer, you get Craft Artifice, and this actually goes for first, second, third, fourth, and fifth level. The Artificer chooses one of the item creation talents. They must have ranks in the appropriate, appropriate uh, craft skill to take it. Uh, for talents that are available to other arcane classes, the Artificer's version is less expensive. You have the options of Craft Wand, Improved Brew Potion, Improved Scribe Scroll, and Improved Scribe Tattoo. Hmm. Something strange there. Can't quite put my finger on it. Uh. But these all have an experience point cost associated with them. And typically, for all of these, it's a uh, cost of spell level times caster level times the purchase dc of raw materials so that can add up really really fast so if you have a third level spell and you're a 10th level spell caster and then the purchase dc of the raw materials is another 10 well that's three times 10 and that's 30 times 10 so 
That's a solid 300 experience points that you're dropping here. And the reason this is here is because it's a holdover from older editions of Dungeons & Dragons. The idea was is that uh, they were concerned about spellcasters being able to just build up an abundance of magic items. You know, all kinds of wands and scrolls and potions and magic arms and armaments. And that could really unbalance things very fast very fast so the spellcasters got to have this little bit of a kneecap here by having to uh, spend experience points used to be once upon a time you could spend enough experience points to lose a level but they stopped it by saying uh eventually updating it with the rule that you could if you would use enough experience to drop a level you actually do not have enough experience to make the item and thus you cannot do it at that time they ended up amending this rule later on after 3.5 edition Dungeons & Dragons come out. It was uh, something that they had posted online, but it was an option where a spellcaster could take a feat where their allies could spend experience to help fund the creation of magic items. But all the way around, using experience points to make magic items is stupid. It's another thing to keep track of. It slows everything down. Nobody likes doing it. Nobody likes trying to keep track of it or calculating it. So my recommendation, which I'll reiterate in the uh, follow-up video for making this class better, is to just nix this entirely. This is dumb. The other th thing that you get with this class are bonus feats at 2nd and 4th level. And the Artificer may select bonus feats from the following list. Empower spell, enlarge spell, issue materials, extend spell, heighten spell, non-lethal spell, reach spell, sacred spell, and the legendary Shadowbane spell. I mean, all the way around, not bad feats at all, but... Uh, this is what you get they make sense but here's the thing this is all that there is to this class you make crafting items less expensive and it's not really especially clear how it's less expensive there aren't really a whole lot of examples given so you have to go through the, the different rules in charts looking it up to see what the differences are exactly so there's real the benefits you have to look up and research your benefits are you have five selections for craft artifice but there's only four options to pick out hey there's not a whole lot else to say here you're this is not a, cl a prestige class intended for players or at least i wouldn't ever recommend or i guess i would allow my players to take it but i would really impress upon them that they're going to lose a lot here because this doesn't even advance spell casting for you you don't get to emulate other spells or do any of that you just lose five levels of spell casting in favor of being able to make crafting items a little bit less expensive with a rule that at most everybody drops anyways all the way around this is a terrible class there aren't a whole lot of prestige classes to begin with either uh, you do get you do see more coming out with the, like the d20 past and of course urban arcana does have other options like the archmage and uh, holy or unholy knights but uh, really this is something that could have and should have been dropped entirely this class isn't good and i really recommend against anybody taking it but these are just one lore master's thoughts i want to know what you think down below in the comments do you like this class have you found a great deal of use out of it or if you've had your own modifications and tweaks well go on down and let me know what you thought or if you thought i completely missed the plot on this one well then let me know about that too. Hit the like button or dislike button as you will. And if you haven't done so already, go on down there, hit the subscribe button and become a regular member here at the Gamer's Den. Certainly, we'd all be happy to have you. But with that said, I've been your host, Jordan, your master of lore and storyteller extraordinaire. Thank you all so very much for your time and you all have yourselves a good night.